Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Frame Channel. Every day, logistical activities such as the transportation of goods from one place to another depend on fleet vehicles like these trucks. Unsurprisingly, the collective billions of miles covered by commercial vehicles each year leads to wear and tear on tire treads, which must be replaced or repaired regularly to ensure safe operations. In today's video, we'll take a closer look at how millions of end-of-life truck tires are retreaded to serve as efficiently as brand new ones. The first, and arguably the most important step in this process is the visual inspection of the tire. Each item is mounted onto a mechanical spreader, which opens the tire and rotates it to enable the technician to check the tire's inner liner for defects. The side walls and tread are then examined for the presence of rocks, nails, and screws, which are removed. Minor repair sites are also marked directly on the tire at this stage. After the surface level checks have taken place, the tire is inspected electronically to detect punctures and imperfections that may not have been visible during the first examination. The unit is then transferred to a shearography machine, which uses specialized technology to optically inspect beneath the surface of the tire. These imaging devices operate inside a vacuum to identify instances of trapped air below the casing before the tire's fitness for repair status is assessed by a technician. Eddie Cross, head of transport engineering services for the London Borough of Redbridge, explains why basing tire purchasing decisions solely on price does not always offer the best value over the longer term. We've worked closely with Michelin to optimize our tire pressures and ensure we're running the best possible rubber for the job. It allows us to collate a wealth of competitive data on how they perform. It's further reassurance that our tire choice is delivering not just on the road, but financially too. Once a tire has been thoroughly examined and deemed safe to repair, it is ready for buffing. This process uses rotating machinery and buffing blades to shave the tire, removing the worn tread pattern. It is vitally important that the repaired tire achieves the correct profile and radius. So before buffing can commence, it must also be inflated to its regular running size. The technician pauses regularly to check the depth of the undertread throughout the buffing process, ensuring that optimal levels are maintained ahead of the repair stage. The buff tire is then skived, a manual process that involves the removal of any damaged or rusty steel cord material. During this stage, handheld electronic tools are used to score into the undertread and trim back the tire's steel cords, repairing any damage. Finally, the tire is ready for its new grooves. A pre-made tread is attached to the undertread by a computerized machine, which measures the exact amount of new material needed to match the tire's dimensions and specifications. This new tread is then attached to the existing base before the tire is heat cured and given one last safety inspection. Reliance on retread tires has been on a steady rise with companies turning to them as a viable option for their fleet, trucks, and even airplanes. Approximately 44% of all commercial tires on US and Canadian roads are retread tires, with about 15 million tires retreaded in both countries annually. These tires are known to offer optimal tire wear, superior traction, and vehicle safety. Between 2017 and 2019 alone, 
average tire retread and pre-cure costs dropped by 20% from $206 to $165 per tire. A retreaded tire usually sells for less, usually between 30% to 50% of the comparative new tire price. Nevertheless, since every retread tire purchaser will want to be sure they get the best performance for their money, the sector has been appropriately regulated for consistency in quality. Tire recycling is another eco-friendly and cost-effective option for climate-conscious consumers seeking an alternative method of repurposing old and worn tires. At recycling plants, old, damaged, and worn-out tires are shredded into smaller, more manageable strips by huge, rotating blades before magnets are employed to separate the steel cord material. The rubber strips are then washed before undergoing further shredding, eventually creating a fine powder or crumb. This refined rubber product can be used for a broad range of applications, from construction materials to playground flooring. The tire's steel elements are then recycled separately. Apart from recycling, some end-of-life tires are broken down to produce gas and oil. This process is known as pyrolysis. This energy recovery process begins in a similar way to traditional recycling, with waste tires being shredded, steel cords removed, and the remaining rubber granulated. The resultant crumb is then fed into a pyrolysis reactor, which heats it up in an oxygen-free environment. The heated rubber granules disintegrate and emit gas, which in turn can be burned as fuel or condensed into oil for use in other purposes. The leftover material, known as carbon black, can also be recycled for reuse in other rubber products. Given the ever-evolving advancement of alternative repurposing methods, what does the future hold for the tire retreading market? Current trends suggest a healthy compound annual growth rate of over 3.3% within the forecast period 2022 to 2027. As growing consumer activity drives further fleet expansion and crude oil prices continue to follow an upward trajectory, tire retreading professionals are likely to remain in high demand for many years to come. That's the end of today's feature on The Frame. Subscribe to the channel to catch us on the next video.